All right, now we're gonna be testing gold using the acid kit. The acid kit has typically six bottles. Out of the six, two are for testing platinum and silver. We're not gonna be using those right now. We're gonna be using the ones that test gold from 10, 14, 18, and 22 karat gold. Out of these four bottles, the 14 karat gold acid is the most used in the US because most of the jewelry come in 14 karat gold. We could find 22 karat gold in gold coins and 18 karat gold sometimes in other jewelry. So let's see. We have here many pieces of jewelry from 10 karat, 18, 14. We're going to be testing 14 right now. So we have a ring here, it's a wedding ring. It's a ring, but let me see. We're gonna be testing on the surface of this ring. So I happen to know this ring is 14 karat because it says there, and I use a magnifying glass, I can see it clearly. But although this wedding band could be 13, 14, 15 carats, the only problem we have with these acids is that they will tell you 14, 10, 18, 22 carats, but they don't test more accurately. If you wanna have an exact count of the carats and your jewelry or your piece could be 20 carat gold, you're gonna be guessing using these acids. So for that, you better go to the electronic tester. It's one of these that helps you not only to test more accurately the carriage of the, of the piece of jewelry, but also helps you to find jewelry that is not really gold, but is only gold field. It's got a plate of gold. So in those cases, if you want to test with the acid, you're going to have to scratch a little deeper into the jewelry, into the piece of jewelry because the plate of gold is going to be present and it's, if you put the acid on it, it's going to show you gold, although it is not really gold. Okay, now let's talk about this one. This one is 14 karat gold. That's what it says here, right? Let me clean it real well. And if I apply 14 karat gold acid to a 14 karat gold, a piece of gold, it shouldn't react means I put it on the surface, little drop, and nothing should happen at all. Same color. Let's see if that happens here. Same color. I don't see any change so far. Now let me wipe it out. And there it is. The ring is almost same color little shadow, a little reddish shadow, that could happen, that's still 14 karat gold. But not everything, let me see for example if we want to test, these bracelets are 10 karat gold and we're gonna be testing this one with 14 karat gold to see. This has got a design so it's gonna be probably a little harder to, to realize on the camera if there's any change, but let me try. Okay, you see the, the, the shade? So supposedly, if this is a 10 karat gold and I apply a 14, it is going to leave a deep, a, a dark shadow. A reddish shadow. Let's see. A little messy here. Well, it leaves a shadow that is reddish. That is a problem with the acid. Sometimes it's not too accurate and you have to double check with your electronic tester. And of course, with the X-ray fluorescence. Let's see. Now, we're gonna try something that you may come across once in a while that is white gold. 
you see this is actually gold although it, it looks like silver especially when you compare it to yellow or red gold you see this is yellow gold this is red gold and this looks pretty white many times you can you wouldn't say this is gold the way you find out is by scratching some very tiny sample of the actual metal over this stone now the size of this scratch is way bigger than it's supposed to be why? because I have to show it in the camera and make it noticeable but if you am I doing it for myself the scratch would be a lot lesser than this now this is 14 karat gold white gold we're gonna be testing this with 14 karat gold acid what would happen? nothing if I use 14 karat gold acid on 14 karat gold nothing should happen you see the the acid it lies on top of the little pieces of gold but they, there they are nothing happens to them now if I test it with a higher carat acid it should fade away it should disappear pretty much immediately so we put some acid there 18 karat gold acid on a 14 karat gold and we will see that it disappears the scratch disappears immediately there's nothing there I move some more of the acid to show again that the scratch disappears on the other side you have 14 karat gold acid on top of 14 karat gold it doesn't make a change so this is the way you test for gold purity using the acids that's it